song, puppets, fun and mime. Welcome to the story time. Hello Augustians, we are back with the story and you know today's story is about the tiny little animals who carry lots of loads. Can you take a guess? Yes, it's about an ant and the book is called Terra Learns to Fly. It's written by Vinita and the art is by Nirdara Verulkar and the book is published by Katha Publications. Let's get started. Terra was an ant, a tiny black ant and Terra had a dream. She wanted to fly. Fly, fly, fly in the sky, fly, fly, fly in the sky. Hurry up and get to work, big sister ant told her. Ants don't dream and ants don't fly. But Sarah always wondered, why not? Like all ant colonies, Sarah's two had named the girl ants led by a queen. They all laughed at her. <laughs> but Sarah just looked out of her colony and stared at the sky. Her sisters and cousins had much to do. They sang and hummed as they worked all day. We have crumbs to pick, pick, pick. We have crumbs to stack, stack, stack. We have roots to find. Find, find, we have doors to mend, mend, mend. We have walls to climb, climb, climb. So they had to pick and stack and find and mend and climb. And their entire day was spent in picking and stacking and finding and mending and climbing. So Sarah too picked crumbs and stacked crumbs. She scurried through roots. She helped mend doors. And she climbed walls. And she looked after baby ants too. So her day was full. But when it was night and it was time to sleep, Sarah climbed to the top of her hill and she stared at the sky. Sky, sky, sky so black. Sky, sky, sky so high. And stared. And she stared. She sighed. And she sighed. I wish I had wings. She said to herself. I wish I could fly. Sarah's sister had been watching her for many days now. Sarah's sister never spoke much. You know, when you have thousands of little sisters that you love, when you have food to find and roads to walk, where is the time? Sarah's sister Hira was always working. But that day she said, Look! The leaves of the people tree were slowly drifting down. And that's when Sarah had an idea. Come, she told Hira. Will you please come with me? They hurried out of the colony hole towards the large fallen leaf. White leaves are light, said Sarah. So, Hira asked her. Sarah just smiled mysteriously. Sarah hauled the leaf and ran up the people tree. Hira followed her. They ran up the trunk, up the first branch, up the second, up the third, up, 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 and up. They were really high up now. They looked down. Down was so far away. Hira held the leaf for Sarah while they waited. A breeze stirred. Then, when the wind hummed, Sarah clambered on to the leaf. Hold tight, Hira told her, her eyes shiny. Then she gave the leaf a mighty push. Sarah, the ant, flew that night. <laughs> Her laughter woke up the entire colony of ants, flying, flying, flying in the sky. Riding a leaf is like riding a roller coaster. You swirl and twirl as the leaf turns cartwheels in the air. Sarah held tight and she laughed and laughed and laughed. That night, 
beautifully. That night, all the ants in Sierra's colony flew too. And all the tiny ants knew that night that ants can dream and ants can fly. Da 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 da. Now I say bye bye. Bye bye, Augustian. So, this was the story of Sarah, a story of believing in your dreams so that you can make them happen. Dream, dream, and chase your dreams, Augustian. Bye bye.